Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Davis and I am a musician from San Diego, California and I'm here to share with you what it means to be a Christian musician both in and outside of the church. And um, there's, that's definitely a, a, a question, uh, a thought that I have um, struggled with, um, sort of wrestled with and um, have marinated over for, for years, uh, pretty much ever since I've started um, existing as a uh, Christian who plays music, and um, I think that 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 title, Christian musician, I think is is a is a great start to why I felt the confusion um, because I think that uh, I think I needed to be something more than than sort of held in that sort of tight identity, if you will. I needed to be a child of God, a son of the of the King, and and all those things like that. I think that that's what I needed to have fuel me. Um, to exist as a Christian musician, to be the best Christian musician to be is to be um, something more than that. And um, and I think when I think about titles like that, um, like the teachers that I know, the doctors that I know, you know, people that build fences, you know, all those things. Um, when they're a believer in God, I don't put, oh, you're the Christian fence builder, or you're the Christian teacher, or you're the Christian uh, window wiper. You know, like uh, that sort of kind of makes it smaller. Um, it makes it uh, it makes it really refined to maybe what they can and cannot do and where they go and where they where they can't go. Um, and I think when I sort of let go of, of that title, um, I was both able to have a great relationship with the church and outside of the church. But for some reason when I when I put it in those parameters, I was um, thought it was an either or thing. I thought I needed to be either a Christian musician who maybe didn't play in the church but played in the world or I was a Christian musician because I was a Christian musician I couldn't play in the world and I had to only you know lead worship in a, in a, in a church congregational type of setting and um, I struggled with that and, and for years and years and years and um, I think I've come to the conclusion now that you know that uh, I am free and um, God has given me a message of hope and because of music it just is a great avenue and a bridge that um, and a powerful tool that can bridge um, me relationally to other other people, relationally speaking, both in um, on a personal level and on like a message level. That God has given me the gift of song to write, to to play, and to to experience who I am in, in, in all different facets. So sometimes I'll play a wedding and and do their favorite love song, and sometimes I'll, I'm leading at worship at a church, and all these things allow me to connect with people and to bring again because Christ dwells in my heart, um, bring the church with, you know, I'm the church, and so I can bring that into environments where um, it isn't, you know, there's no, no one else with Christ in their heart, so I'm bringing church to them, or I'm, because I have Christ in me, and uh, there's other people with Christ in them, it sort of creates a sort of like celebration and, and this uh, time of, of encouragement um, that enables me to go back into environments where maybe I'm the only one or something like that, and so... Um, I think there's a there's a great way to kind of connect it all and not allow it to be uh, sort of confusing. And I think that the enemy, who you know is sort of the the master worship leader um, back back in the day, and then you know now is is Satan. And he, he I think he his role and the way that he shapes culture is is a lot with music. And I think that that's why it's such a um, touchy subject for Christians. Um, to bring that Christian word and musician and kind of bring them together. It's um, everyone and kind of, even if they're not a musician, has an ideal, not everyone, but some people, you know, have an ideal of what they think that that should look like. And I've, ha I've received even messages from people before about certain songs that I've written or that I've, you know, moved my body too much on the stage or that I've, um, you know, shouldn't play these places or, you know, there's all these rules that were like, predestined and set for a Christian musician, you know, and I think that um, I used to let that, you know, make me bitter or, or think that I needed to almost shun the church because because I would receive messages like that, but then I'd also receive messages from the church that were saying how much that I encouraged them, or even, you know, Christians in the church getting messages saying I was going to take my life, I was going to end my life, but I heard this this song and it reminded me of hope and and, and life, and, and um, I didn't take my life. Those kind of moments make me realize that it's not about church and not church, that it's about people, and that people exist in all around you. 
and so there shouldn't be walls and um and no one's out of reach from you know you existing with a message of hope and you existing with a gift of music i think that it should transcend um sort of it, it's 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 such a powerful thing that can go into any environment you know if if I was a missionary preacher with a Bible, there are certain places that I can't go. But a guy with a guitar in his hand, I can go anywhere, and I can bring a message um, of hope. And because of that, I, I don't want it, I don't want anything to stop me. Um, and so, that's something that is a is a very powerful thing, and and it can bring about an influence and bring about a culture and a shift in a room. I think uh, music is one of those things that um, can help transcend people who maybe are all from different aspects of life when there's sort of that common song um, that everyone loves or we're, we're all sort of instantly like transcended somewhere somewhere else and we're all like together um, that's amazing and that's something that uh, that music does and I think that that's why um, that's why it's it's a it's such a it's such a discussion that I think that Christians have on, on what it should be shouldn't be and and because I think it's just such a powerful tool um, but back to um, kind of defining things, I think if I had to give a de definition of a Christian musician, I think that um, coming back to something kind of more grand or beyond that title, I think in Ephesians, um, God says, you know, there's the different gifts that are given out, and apostleship and, and evangelism and teacher and all those kind of things. And I think that as a, as a drummer, as a songwriter, I think those sort of, sort of gifts work out in those individuals. And I think... Um, for me, I, I kind of have more of this kind of a thing where I speak more poetically and um, I write songs like that and, and I kind of, because of that, I think that there's sort of different environments for me where maybe someone who's more of like, got the gift of you know encouragement and those kind of things, um, maybe not as much prophetic, but more of an encouragement side, maybe finds themselves leading worship is maybe a great avenue for them and they don't know, how, they don't have any original song ideas in their head, um, but they tend to be really strong at in encouraging and saying those words and getting everyone together. And so you kind of learn that it's kind of someone more deeper at their core um, defines who they are musically speaking. And um, I think that's something that I've seen and noticed um, in me that I, you know, I can't necessarily fit in the Christian musician box um, if it has those sort of tight-knit parameters on it, because I can't be somebody else, you know. The best musician I can be is the one that God has designed and created me and predestined for me to exist in, um, to step out in faith in. And um, so for me and my journey, um, it definitely has worked out really great to have relationships with both the church and um, outside of the church, and I've seen that um, relationship work out very, very beautifully. Um, but again, in my environment and in, in the story that I've, that I've had, that's something that's worked out really well for me. And whether you live in Idaho or Hawaii, and um, you know you want to play secular venues and different things, I mean that all looks so looks different in the different contexts and how your church is and how that how your church can, can connect and encourage you in whatever specific kind of musician you are. I mean that's such a specific thing that um, you kind of have to figure out for yourself. And so for me, I kind of had to figure out um, you know w what kind of context and environment that I needed to help create parameters and, and, and means that can help move me forward and, and so I know I needed a consistent community and, and I also needed people that were encouraging um, to me in, as far as being out, out of the church too but yet encouraging me in it and so um, yeah that's something that I uh, definitely experienced before and I hope that these, these thoughts and these ideas um, helped encourage even if it was just a few of you out there and thanks so much for allowing me to share I really really appreciate it